Yeah, so the management software here has individual user accounts. Uh, so you can provide user accounts for the management software itself. Uh, so if you're using the management software as your main point of view for the system, uh, there's, you can create individual accounts for end users on the MVR uh, and have them log in with those accounts. Or if, for example, if, if this software is on a computer that other people might have access to, you might want to put a password on the software, you know, especially if you're not sure who's accessing it or if it's remotely accessed for any reasons, or if it's a laptop that can be shared among other people. There are ways you can lock down the software itself with individual accounts as well as permissions here. Uh, in order to do that, we just need to go to user management here from the control panel. And here we have the admin account, which is what we normally log in with. The super administrator, there's only one super administrator. You can create other administrators, but you can only create one super admin. The super administrator would have permissions to delete the other accounts or you know, remove the NVR system from the management software. Uh, so the super administrator needs to go to the person who's actually actively managing the system. If you'd like to give other people access to this management software, then all we do is we just add a new user here, right? Whether it's an administrator or an operator, the operator typically will start with no permissions. And then you just give it permission to live view, control a camera, and you know, playback, remote recordings, you know, whatever permissions you want to give, you know, whether you want to give no permissions or all permissions, uh, you know, it's all up in the air, whatever you want to do as the administrator. Uh, other administrators usually come with a little bit more permissions. Uh, and then from there, you can create a username, add a password and confirm it. And then apart from permissions, you know, let's say we're going to create an operator here who only has permission to view one camera, nothing else. Can't change anything, can't back anything up, can't move the camera. So we would do live view, and then we would select the one camera that he has permission to access. And then whenever that operator logs in to the software with his account, even though the MVR is in the software and all the cameras are, are showing up for administrators and super administrators, his login will only show on this one camera and he won't be able to do anything with it. He won't be able to backflip a job or change anything. So you as a super administrator would be able to log in and do all that. And then you would just give everyone their own individual login so that when they log into the software, you know, they can't you know, create any trouble or problems by changing anything or deleting anything, whether inadvertently or intentionally. And then up here in the upper right, we've got a couple options here. We've got a quick menu. Right, so if you don't want to go to a control panel, you can just go to the quick menu up here. We can switch users. So, you know, if the super administrator, your shift ends, somebody else is coming in that don't have the same permissions as you do, you just switch users here. You don't have to close the software down, re-log in or anything like that. You just switch user to the other one and then those permissions take effect for the new user. And then you've also got a lock here, right? Right now we're using the system, so it's unlocked. If we lock it, Right. In order to do anything, right, I'm clicking around, I can't click on anything, I can't change anything. I would have to then provide the password to log into the system again in order to change anything or unlock it. So, you know, if you're going to lunch, that's a great thing. And then the last thing here, we've got a light theme and a dark theme. Totally aesthetic, nothing functional about that. Uh, might be better for your eyes to run the dark. Might be better to see if you're on light, but you know, the system's got options, so you can really tailor it to, to what you like. Mm -hmm.